One of the most powerful lawmakers in the United States, Mitch McConnell, has announced he'll step down as the Republican leader of the U.S. Senate in November. The 82-year-old is the longest-serving Senate leader in history and has recently been facing health issues. McConnell said that despite stepping down from that role, he would serve out his Senate term, which ends in 2027. Senators from both parties reacted to his speech with a standing ovation. So as I've been thinking about when I would deliver some news to the Senate, I always imagined a moment when I had total clarity and peace about the sunset of my work. A moment when I'm certain I have helped preserve the ideals I so strongly believe that day arrived today. Let's bring in Clayton Allen. He focuses on Washington politics and policy for the Eurasia Group. It's a policy risk consultancy. Welcome to our program. This announcement from Mitch McConnell to step down, does it come as a surprise to you? Honestly, it doesn't. Uh, I think that people have been expecting for the better part of two years that Senator McConnell was, or Leader McConnell, was really on the tail end of his term as leader, that there was not an expectation he would continue after this Congress was over. This is really the confirmation of what many in Washington have suspected or expected for quite some time. As some of you may know, this has been a particularly difficult... And uh, McConnell has often found himself butting heads with Republicans um, loyal to Donald Trump. So how much did that play into his decision to step down? I don't think it did, honestly. I think that this was... Uh, really the the time and place that Senator McConnell chose to sort of relinquish control to the next generation. This is more about generational change than it is about the specifics of political disagreements with Mike Johnson or with Trump, more Trump aligned members of the House. This is McConnell very clearly trying to control both the changeover of power in the Senate, as well as provide the most seamless transition that he can to the next generation of leaders. Well, if it wasn't based on a political calculation, it's definitely going to have some kind of political consequences. McConnell was known, especially here in Europe, as one of the stronger pro-NATO and pro-Ukraine voices in the Republican Party. So do you think that Europe uh, should have cause for concern that his successor won't fill that role? I think that that's an absolutely reasonable position and fear to have. We don't know who his successor will be. It will likely be what one of what we call the three Johns, John Barrasso, John Thune, or John Cornyn. These are all well-established members of the Republican Party. I think all of them hew, when it comes to foreign policy, from much the same cloth as Cornyn. They may not be as vocal or as uh, aggressive in their support for NATO or Ukraine, but I think many of them, all of them really, come from the same position. The question is, what happens if Trump wins and you see someone else, an, an, an unexpected candidate, take the leader's role after the 2024 elections. So what we're, what you're saying here is it's not like in the House where you have this upswell of Donald Trump supporting Republicans that would take over the leadership. The Senate is playing by a different game there. They are slightly. The, the, the Senate loves nothing more than to remind people that it is not the House. And the rules are different and the dynamics are different. Uh, the Senate is generally comprised of members that have been around for a lot longer. The transition of power is much more regimented. People that generally have been in leadership for a long time and one of the other multitude of roles in leadership are generally assumed to be the successor one to an outgoing majority leader. That's not guaranteed, though. The Trump election could be a massive upheaval of expectation in almost every facet of political life. This is no different. If Trump wins and you see Republicans take the majority with a lot of Trump aligned members assuming office, that could open the door to a different, maybe even more conservative leader. Clayton Allen from the Eurasia Group in Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate your time.